Yes, hi, hello, all people. So this video is for those who are non-engineer aspirants of CAT. So is it only for non-engineers? No, those who feel like you are going to be quite weak in quant. So this is for you also. So how can you make a constructive preparation, a kind of constructive preparation for CAT quant? So that's what we're going to have a kind of brief discussion here in this video. So I've got some few points to share with you. So yeah, here we go. So the first and foremost thing is uh, don't feel a kind of have a kind of panic situation. So don't panic that uh, uh, you are losing some kind of touch with math or you are not knowing any kind of basics in mathematics because like you are going to sail the same kind of boat like almost all the aspirants. Why? Because like uh, they do even have the same problem. So those who are having some active touch in math would also need a kind of brush up some basic intro for all these topics that they need to prepare for cat point it is necessary so in that sense you don't have to be feeling much afraid or panic about not having a great touch with mathematics so how can you basically tackle this situation so i'm not having a kind of touch in math but still i wanted to uh, have a good cracker point so what can you do so here we have some tips and how to begin and get a flow by a point preparation so let's have that First and foremost thing is you will have to start from arithmetic topics. So arithmetic topics in the sense like uh, I can just give you a brief idea of like what are the topics you will have under arithmetics basically. So arithmetic is going to have a good bunch of topics under uh, uh, percentages. I can just list a few of this. Percentages, profit loss, profit loss discount and then you will have topic called the SIC. So interest calculation, this you have. And then you will have ratio proportion, then you have averages, then you have mixtures, then you will have questions based on time, speed, distance, short TST, then you will have time and work, and then pipes and systems. So, all these topics put together, we name the bunch to be arithmetic. It is important to start from arithmetic. We have some reasons for that. So, why? Because the thing is, like, they are actually very simple to learn. They are going to be much, much, much simple and also they are important for us to understand the other advanced topics. So we need to have a kind of a good touch with these topics. Why? Because like uh, you will be getting some basic ability from these kind of topics only. So you will have the ability to frame and solve simple equations. So these topics will actually teach you. So this is where we feel like we have lost some good basics. We have lost a touch of those basics all we have seen in school days. So these topics, when you have a roundup, you will have a really a good touch of all these basic exercises that we often do in mathematics, which we feel like we have lost touch. For example, we, we come across a problem which says like uh, uh, 5x minus 14 is equal to 3x plus 13. So we need to solve this equation. It's a simple linear equation. So I need to solve this equation. So what I can do? What I can basically do here? So I'll have to try taking the x terms to one side. I'll have to chase the numbers to the other side. So this sense we'll be getting when we do more and more of arithmetic topics. Why? Because like arithmetic topics will give you this exercise often, very frequently. So that's very important. And second thing is framing an equation also. Because like a problem talks or gives you some conditions. So which condition you should be able to turn it as an equation. So it will be a, in a word format. So the word problem, you'll have to read it and then you'll have to be turning it. And also at the same time, you will have to be getting a kind of good relation or an interrelation between topics. We can give you another example. Say for an example, we will we'll deal with a percentage example. The percentage there are two people A and B. So it says like A is A is 25% more than B. So this looks like a simple sentence under percentage. So A is 25% more than B, which means in terms of numbers, if I imagine, if B is 100, A will be 125. So this sense of getting a good catch of numbers and then getting a good relation between the numbers will actually help or this kind of exercise is what you can precisely take from arithmetic topics. And second thing, once I get, get to know that A is 25% more than B or if B is 100, A is like 125, this will also help me to get the ratio between A and B is 5 is to 4. 5 is to 4 is a simplified ratio of 125 is to 100. So no matter which two quantities, Whatever, if any two quantities, if one of them is 25% more than the other, then the larger number to smaller number, the ratio is going to be 5 is to 4. So this is how I relate 
a percentage idea with ratio proportion. So this kind of exercises you will get to know when you practice more from arithmetic topic. So that's why it is very important for us to learn more, give more time for your arithmetic basic preparation. That's very 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 important. Fine, yes. Now you learn arithmetics. So you finish off all these topics. You will now get a good catch of equations, solving, framing equations, solving equations, everything. Then what next will have to move for? Will will have to be moving to algebra topics. So algebra, what are the topics we have? Algebra. So algebra, we will slightly enter into quadratic inequalities and modulus. So this is where we play more. We still have more other topics and ideas conceptually to discuss in algebra, but these are going to be the starters. Now once we finish off these kind of simple equation dealing from arithmetic topics, the next thing, the next part we move on to is quadratic kind of equations. So quadratic equations, which again we must have dealt in our school days itself. So during a 9th standard, 10th standard level, you would have seen more of quadratic equations. And I can give a quick example x square minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. So this is not like a simple linear equation. We have certain strategies that need to be given here or we need to work, solve this kind of questions, this kind of quadratic equation solving in itself in certain methods. So all these exercises you will be getting but directly jumping into these topics would complicate the process. Hence, it's important to have some basic idea of arithmetic, then coming back to this kind of quadratic equation solving will actually help. Second thing is understand the nature. Because like when we deal more with algebra, we will not only be solving the equations, we will also be expanding to think about the nature of the equation. So what are the properties the equation is going to possess? All these ideas you gradually come finish arithmetic and then getting into this kind of algebra topics will enable you to understand very very easily. That's why we see this kind of topics after seeing arithmetic topics. Fine, yes, then we have inequalities. So, as mentioned, inequalities. So, so we, we again the same reason. So, we have an equation solving. Then, understanding a solving equation solving will help you to understand to solve an inequality. You will come to know what is a region. But seeing this in the first attempt itself would risk the preparation. Seeing this from the basics and everything. After seeing arithmetic topics will give you a good idea of visualizing the number line, the region, everything. So that's why preparing from those ideas then coming to algebra is very important. Right. Yes. And then modulus we have other idea. So let's not go dive much deeper. So these are a few algebra topics that we need to see. Right. Okay. So arithmetic and algebra are going to be much 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 important. So I would say like invest more time on arithmetic then come to algebra. So it's going to give or, or construct your quant understanding in a very high level. So that's that's what is important. And then basically like practice more. We'll have to be practicing more. So we have a classic well-proven framework which is what we are going to have here. First thing is learn, learn ideas, then practice, then you revise. So this should happen as a cycle. Learn and then practice, then revise. Again, go to learn, practice, revise. So learning is what is all these fundas about. So learn things from the very basics. Never try to bypass steps. Never try to by heart something that makes a task easier. Kindly have raise, have, have an idea of raising the question like why any kind of basic or funda work. That's very important. So learn it and then practice. So you take a concept, learn a concept from there and then it is very important for you to have a practice on that. So test it. Test it to various number of questions. So test, test, test. So start from basic level questions and then go gradually to higher level questions. That's really going to help your process. And of course, you will face a situation where you go to very tougher questions. You will have a blockage of not able to solve the question beyond that, which is good actually. So it is not that you are not able to solve a very tough question. You are stuck there. It should happen. Why? Because like you are progressing in a good way. Because like only then it adds a sense that you are preparing, you are in the right direction. Otherwise, you are preparing very easy level questions itself. You will be able to definitely manage those, manage solving those questions. You will be able to easily solve and get the answers to those easy level questions. Challenges like when you face tougher level questions, you should have that kind of stumbling. Those situations come back. So come back. Don't hesitate to come back. Revise those basics. It's not bad for you to look at the solution. Kindly see the solution, how the tougher questions work. Have an idea. Have a crack of understanding the solution for tougher level questions and then also have a kind of revision. So revision will make your basics again stronger 
then again so if you you you're going back to basics is again you are starting the learning part again so this learning phase again begins so learn again practice and then again revise so have this as a cycle and this is what is going to enhance your quant preparation so you don't have to worry about like you are losing a kind of touch or you are going to have any kind of uh, uh, uh demerit of not having chosen math paper like other engineers or other math mainstreamers chosen so you don't have to feel for it you can work this way and you will really be able to find more 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 comfortable in solving quant problems so that should be how you are practice fine people thank you for your time thank you and uh, all the very best for your preparation have fun in your preparation again we'll catch up in the upcoming videos thanks a lot once again see you all bye